Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling a pressing issue that's been making headlines in the UK. The Royal British Legion hosts an annual festival every November for Remembrance Sunday, a time to honor those who sacrificed their lives for our country. This year holds special significance as it marks the 100th anniversary of the Royal British Legion, founded in 1921 to support members and veterans of the British Armed Forces. To celebrate this milestone, the Royal British Legion planned for members of the royal family, including the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle, to attend the events. But in the past few days, close to 900 veterans have expressed they'll pull out of these commemorations if Harry and Meghan are present. Many veterans worry that their attendance could distract from honoring the fallen or be perceived as a publicity stunt. Some veterans groups have even started petitions to bar Harry and Meghan from participating. To understand the veterans' concerns, we need to look at the couple's relationship with the UK since they stepped back from royal duties in 2020 and relocated to California. Following this, they gave high-profile interviews discussing their challenges with royal life and the institution including allegations of racism and lack of support. These interviews polarized public opinion, while some admired their honesty, others felt they were damaging the monarchy and the queen. Another factor is that since stepping back, Harry lost his honorary military titles, including Captain General of the Royal Marines. This change has led some to question if he should be afforded such a prominent role in commemorative events. Some veterans argue that, as a civilian, he no longer holds the same privileges that senior royals do. However, it's worth noting that not all veterans feel this way, some still support Harry's right to attend. Still, the significant discontent among veterans has raised concerns for the Royal British Legion, which heavily depends on veteran involvement and support. To avoid further conflict, the Legion has said it's in discussions with all parties, and no final decision has been made. Reports suggest that one solution may be for Harry to attend a private ceremony, avoiding public appearances or broadcasts that might spark controversy. However, veterans opposing his presence appear to prefer a complete ban on the Sussexes attending any of the centenary events. The debate has sparked conversations online, with opinions divided. Some argue that Harry should be allowed to honor the fallen as a veteran, while others insist that honoring the wishes of the majority of veterans should take precedence. This issue has highlighted deeper tensions within the royal family, whose reputation has suffered in recent years due to a series of scandals and controversies beyond Harry and Meghan's actions alone. Whatever decision is reached, the Legion is likely to prioritize ensuring that nothing detracts from the solemn purpose of honoring those who gave their lives in service. With such a substantial portion of the veteran community expressing opposition to Harry's attendance, the Legion may find it necessary to respect those views. This issue underscores broader challenges facing the monarchy, which has recently seen considerable criticism and setbacks to its reputation. While the Queen remains a widely respected figure, the popularity of future royals is less certain, suggesting the need for reform to strengthen their connection with modern Britain. Events like this centenary carry significance not only for veterans, but also for how the monarchy is perceived by the public and in history. What are your thoughts on this? Do you agree with the veterans that Harry should be barred from attending, or do you think blocking a veteran from paying respects is the wrong approach? Share your views on how this complex issue could be handled to honor both sides respectfully.